everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, and today I am going over unicorn rare hard to find items from the Happy Planner. So obviously this could be a really, really wide category because as seasons change, times change, you know, as the company grows, new products come out, um, old products might not stick around, and then we end up, you know, like some other things may become unicorns. Well, as, you know, other things may not. It just kind of depends on the item. A lot of the time, it's items that people really, really liked as far as, like, design of it, the theme of it, um, and those kind of things. So I just kind of wanted to do a little video um, going over some of the things that I've personally seen myself, like, in some buy-sell trade. Um, specifically, there's one on, um, on Facebook that's, like, specifically a unicorn rare item, um, planner page like a buy sell trade and you guys some of these items I've seen for like over a hundred dollars for like a set of nine discs you guys like so like crazy 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 um but I mean I guess when things disappear and it's a truly loved product um I guess people are willing to pay that much because I've seen things sell for 150 and over and including also on Mercari um and, and I'm sure eBay, places like that. So um, I thought I would go over the top things that I see um, in that category. So let's start with um, let's start with some sticker books first. So we got um, several sticker books. Obviously, we have our um, main Happy Planner girls. So we got our main Happy Planner, our very first. Um, what did we have? Four girls. We had four girls for the very first Happy Planner Girls that Happy Planner ever came out with. These were back in 2018. Uh, they came out around 2017, like before Christmas time. And then obviously the planner started for those in 2018. But we got Goal Getter. We got Daydreamer. We got Trendsetter. And then we got the original Glam Girl, which we have a new version of the Glam Girl that recently came out this past year. Or, well, yeah, this year. So, um, so we kind of have these. So these ones, um, I feel like out of all the Happy Planner girls have been the most popular. Um, yes, I've seen people asking for things and I'll get into a couple of the other Happy Planner girls that are super, um, super pretty popular. But these ones are the ones that I see people requesting all the time. And I think a lot of it is if you weren't planning with Happy Planner in the 2018 period, then you definitely missed out on this release. I mean, I think these girls, were like they're the OG girls that we got and I think they really just hit the nail on the head with these ones which I think is what made them so popular. Goal getter you know cater to that person that kind of like neutral and making sure they're getting things done and being efficient and you know productive kind of thing. Daydreamer had your gorgeous gorgeous florals that everybody loves. Trendsetter had that really fun bright vibe for me. It was the hollow that's in there. Super super pretty and then Glam Girl of course hit um you know all the faves for you know all those glamorous girls type things. So um I think they just really did a really good job with these first planner girls. Um so I definitely see these sticker books out in um like in search of all the time. Um, and I've seen a set of these sticker books go for over a hundred dollars. Um, I've seen even sticker books that are like not even new, you guys, like stickers are missing and people are still like a hundred dollars plus shipping. And it's so crazy and it kind of makes me mad sometimes, but it also is really just crazy and shows you supply and demand and if you really want something really that bad, then you will get it. Um, but I feel like with this line, we got so much. Um, we got our first metal discs with this whole line, right? So our Daydreamer actually came with some mint, and hopefully you'll be able to see the color. I know it's really hard with my ring light shining over here, but um, so... We have mint discs. Now, I have a full set of nine. I just only pulled out three because I'm lazy. Um, but the Daydreamer Planner came with gorgeous mint discs, you guys. And I remember when the metal disc came out, I was like, ooh, I'm going to get that planner just for the discs. And then I ended up using that planner as a gratitude journal, which I absolutely loved because it was a horizontal. Um, and I loved it. 
and I really wish back then if I had known how popular, like if I knew what I knew today, I would have grabbed more than one of these planners. You guys, these discs alone, just a set of nine of these gorgeous mint colored discs, I just recently saw on a Happy Planner buy, sell, trade page for $150 plus shipping. Like, crazy. And you know what's even crazier is somebody bought them for that price. So, so crazy. Um, but they are super popular, but we have not seen this color since 2018. Who knows if it's going to come out again, um, but it is definitely a rare color and that went along with our um, Daydreamer planner. Another color that we got, although in the recent Be Happy box, we did just get some black metal discs, but in my opinion, I definitely think the original black metal discs were just better made, better quality, um, all of that. With our Goal Getter Planner, we got some gorgeous black metal discs, which that's a staple, you know? So for me, I'm kind of like, why was this the color that they chose not to you know, mass produce and have available individually. You know, it's a very, like, black. It's black. It goes with everything, right? So it's just kind of like why they didn't do that. I don't know if it's, like, harder, especially the way they might have been making them back then. I don't know if it cost a lot more to make the black discs, so that's why it's more of a rare item, but this has definitely been a sought-out item. Obviously, the new Be Happy box that just recently came out, their anniversary Be Happy box, had some black metal discs, but I've seen a lot of people have discrepancies with them and not like the consistency of them. They say, like, paint's tripping off and you know, they, they're lighter than these ones. They're not as heavy duty. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I have two sets of the original ones because that, you know, I'm like, okay, well, that's good to know. But, um, but these are still rare. Like, Be Happy Box is gone. So I don't know if it's ever going to be something that will come out um, you know, on its own. And then the trendsetter had pink metal discs and I believe the glam girl had some rose gold. So those ones we still have. Those up out of these were the only two that had discs that we're still getting all the time. But I'm seeing a lot of things with like this line in general is just, you know, a very wanted line in general. And again, I kind of think it just goes along with the fact if you weren't planning with Happy Planner around that 2018 time, and then this was complete, like any one of these was completely your style, that's probably why there's such a demand for it. Because I really do think they hit the nail, nail on the head here for these. I think this was like, I feel like this was my favorite release so far of Happy Planner Girls. And speaking of those, um, Part of that is also the gorgeous, gorgeous, I love this cover so much, and I've been waiting to figure out, like, what planner I want to reuse it on, but this is the Daydreamer cover, right? So this is what came with these gorgeous, gorgeous um, mint metal discs. So obviously I bought it because the cover is amazing, and then the mint metal discs, but you guys, the cover alone, I just saw somebody trying to sell, like, for like a hundred dollars, like crazy prices, you guys. Um, and I'm not saying by any means, I'm not saying like go and buy them for these prices, but I am kind of saying if you want it bad enough, you might have to just because that's what people have done. You know, they're rare items and some of the favorite items that have come out ever. Um, I think, I think this release of Happy Planner Girls is by far the most popular one um, that came out. So that's the first part of it. So we have the trendsetter, um, the OG glam girl. Uh, then we have the gorgeous mint discs that are super, super rare, as well as the daydreamer books that I feel like that, that one's the most that I see. And then of course the daydreamer cover. And then we have our black metal discs, which obviously the OG ones are the ones that everybody wants. And then the Goal Getter sticker books are also another popular one that I see. So, and it's just kind of funny because you look at these stickers compared to the stickers now, and they're definitely older. You know, they definitely have a different style and vibe. Happy Planner has grown so much since these books have come out, um, but they're still, you know, highly, highly wanted product. Okay. So, going along with the fact that 
the other Happy Planner girls are popular too, right? It's kind of hard to find Super Mom, Faith Warrior, Socialite was a really popular one. Um, but the, and, and Healthy Hero, I feel like did okay. But the one that everybody has been losing their minds over, of course, is Miss Maker and getting original Miss Maker items. Yes, we have the accessory book that, um, you know, that you could get that has Miss Maker in it, but it's nothing compared to the original sticker books. I see these things go for, I just actually saw somebody posted on one of those sites. Um, it was like a full bundle. So, I mean, you got a planner and you got the stickers and you got like some accessories that were all Miss Maker styled, but they were charging $300 plus shipping. Like, what? So, so crazy to me. I mean, you do what you want. I'm not judging at all. It's just like crazy to me that, you know, some people are like considering like, I'm going to buy that. And if you want to buy that, if that, if this is like your thing and like, you're like, this is my soul right here, then by all means get it. But again, it's just one of those supply and demands. This was a Joann's exclusive. And then of course, like on the Happy Planner website. But other than that, like, unless you had a Joann's near you or unless you wanted to order from the website, you couldn't get these things. So it was just um, a lot harder to grab this one for some people. Um, but this one, this, this planner girl right here is a super, super popular one. Um, but she's gorgeous. And of course, like who doesn't love, like I love, like I'm hoarding these little sticker books. Like that's why I still have some in here because I'm like, I'm hoarding them because they're so freaking cute. But you know, it's, I mean, it's a crafters, like this literally a crafting sticker book. And so everybody has lost their minds over the Miss Maker sticker books. It's super popular. Um, so yeah, so that's another one of the Happy Planner Girls. Like I said, the other ones, like Socialite for me was super popular because I loved the florals for Socialite. Um, let me pull that one out for you so you can just kind of see what I'm talking about. So here's Socialite. It was the really pretty, um, let me find one of the floral, which the only thing that made me mad about this book is it didn't come with a sheet of florals, which I was kind of like, that was a missed opportunity. But like you guys, these florals, like I loved everything. Like I got everything I think from this line. They had little cute tabs, like sticky tabs that you can use to stick a piece of paper or something thicker into your planner and their floral. And just like, so this one I feel like is another one of the popular ones. I feel like the Faith Warrior, Healthy Hero, and Super Mom were like, Eh, but these two are definitely the ones I definitely see all the time on the buy sell trades going for like a much much higher price um but again you know when people like something they're you know and when they know it's popular they're gonna they're gonna mark that up so those are the happy planner girls that I know um obviously we just got new ones we have our stargazer we have our second Glam Girl, Our Encourager, Homebody, Happy Hostess, and Planner Babe. I'm sure once time flies by a little bit more, those will become kind of like this where they're a little bit more like wanted items. I feel like they're not as much like, I don't know. I feel like if anything, Homebody would probably be the most popular one out of those. Homebody and Planner Babe. Um, and then the other ones are like, we like them, but not enough to like, cause like, I know my Joann's still has a ton of happy hostess, a ton of encourager and a ton of glam girl. And I just got a bunch of glam girl sticker books for $1.99 at Michael's. So we've still had them and it's almost a year later. Like we're almost to the year mark of when they release happy planner girls. Cause they were released around end of November, beginning of December time, because those planners started in January. So those have been sitting on the shelves for a long time, so I'm thinking, and whereas the other ones really weren't, unless it was, like, the accessories, like, the little pins, um, or, like, sticky notes, like, I feel like those things were the things that kind of got left behind in stores a little bit more, um, so those things. Um, a couple more sticker books that were pretty popular. Now, this one was super, super popular. Now we actually have a sticker book that goes along with this. And here it is right here. So, um, originally this was the second Be Happy box that came out, uh, ever came out, right? So this was the second one that we got of a Be Happy box. Everybody lost their minds. And this one, I've, you know, anything from this Be Happy box, I've been seeing people sell for crazy prices. It is pretty rare it's super pretty but now we have a year to shine which is 
pretty much the same exact thing minus obviously the sticky notes because it's not an accessory book but it's the same exact theme we get everything that we love from this book in here so now I'm like it's not I'm thinking this is dying down a little bit because people can kind of come to this now and feel a little bit better about getting that but I do feel bad for the people that paid an arm and a leg <laughs> to get this book and then now we have this exact form of book so it just goes to show you you never know we might end up you know, with sticker books that go along with something that was rare. Um, like the very first Be Happy box, I think one of the, um, one of the color story sticker books actually has the same type of stickers that were in the very first Be Happy box, which I didn't get that one. Um, I do have the stickers from it somewhere, but I don't know where they are. But I do know those same stickers are also in a color story. So it was kind of nice to be able to have more of that first Be Happy box somewhere else. And the last sticker book that I feel like has been very, very popular is the Happy Girl sticker book. So I've definitely seen this one go for like 60 plus and like I see them like go and people are like, it's missing like 20 stickers, but they're still selling it for that much. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. Um, um, but this one definitely is a super wanted. This was part of the Happy Planner kids line that they did one year um along with that i'll see if i could find a picture and insert it over here those planners came with um they had little box kits and they came with the discs but instead of hearts they had stars in them and if i can find a picture i'll leave it up there because i don't have those i never i was like eh, you know stars i'm more of a heart person you know so i wasn't really like super like wanting to get those at all but if I can find a picture I'll leave it up there but they the planners for the kids ones did come with stars on the discs which was kind of fun you know I think it was just a little bit different the kids line didn't last very long we got this sticker book along with fun kid which was more of like a boys sticker book um I feel like those two they're both kind of popular I definitely think this one's a lot more popular it's for younger kids this is great especially I mean it would be great for them to come out with this now now that a lot of kids are you know, having to stay home and do, you know, learning from home. I think, you know, coming out with kids planners now would be a lot better than it was, you know, a year and a half, two years ago when they came out with them. Um, but just this is, I've seen this one be pretty popular. And I'm not saying, I'm not here to say, you know, a lot of the sticker books that you can't get a hold of at all anymore aren't popular too. Like I know Baby Girl and Baby Boy, you know, those are staples to any expecting mothers kind of thing. So those ones are like really great for that, but they're kind of hard to find now too. Um, I think some of them might still be available on the Happy Planner website, like underneath their sale tab. I feel like I saw that like a week ago, but I'll double check. And if I can find them, I'll leave the link to those down below. But I know, I mean, I'm, I know there are some sticker books that are harder to find, um, kind of thing, just because, like I said, at the beginning of this video, you know, as time goes, things are going to fall off the shelves and they recreate new things and then new things become popular. And that's just kind of how, how it works, you know, I guess in this, in this retail business. So moving on from sticker books, um, I have a few accessories that I've seen all the time and I see people always asking for them and I'm so glad that I have them. <laughs> I'm glad that I have them um, so I can show you. One of them I don't have, but I did have. So I found a, a boomerang video that I had posted on my Instagram like probably a year and a half to two years ago. So I'll show you that soon as well. But another thing that was popular was deluxe covers. So um, deluxe covers came out, I want to say like end of, oh gosh, like maybe beginning of 2019, like end of, end of 2018, like summer of 2018 for the 2019. I remember it was like part of the back to school release around then. So I'm pretty sure it was like summertime because I remember it being summertime, something around there, but we got deluxe covers. So these, there's three. But like I said, I got rid of one of them stupidly, and now, of course, I regret it. But, you know, I was broke and I needed some money. <laughs> okay. um, so um, I will leave a video of the other one that I'm talking 
over here in just a minute but we got our deluxe cover so these three are the ones that are the most popular um obviously there's still a couple like on my store shelf you know like the random colors like yellow and bright green and pink and then i think like blue and i know like in the big size we have black and silver i see those a lot in store still and some of the other colors available but these particular colors were the most popular and most and are the most sought after like I've seen them posted for a hundred to a hundred fifty dollars um even used uh and like especially the hollow one which is a weird fabric like it scratches really easy I don't know if you can see but it it's you know it's not the best fabric so like any little scratch to it is just gonna take to this um right away but obviously i had to get the hollow one when this came out i was like oh my gosh but you guys these are amazing oh i have some notes in here don't know what those are um but so this is the hollow one it has black and white stripes on the inside and like i said like i don't know if you can see like all these dents it's just like the fabric it's like a leather pleather that just really takes any dents and bruises kind of thing um but it's a gorgeous gorgeous but this one's definitely a sought after it has a pen loop you could stick a sticker book here if you want you could stick another sticker book some little notes and here you tuck in your the back of your cover to back here and then leave it open then you can slide some other stuff up here and protect your planner in here but this one is a super sought after color so this is the holographic one Another one is, which I personalized mine, obviously, with some hollow. Um, another one is the black and white striped one. This one is another super rare and same idea. It's just black and white striped on the inside, like with smaller stripes. And then same thing, you have your pockets. I put one of those like little clear things and I actually use this to hold my washi card in. And I don't know if you can see that. It's just like a clear, like I got them in the Target dollar spot. It's like you can get a pack of them, like a pack of 20 for like $3, something like that. It's like in the back to school section. Um, so these two, and then let me get my video up here of the other one so the other one is rose gold on the outside and then on the inside it has white with black polka dots um this one was a really popular one as well there is another rose gold one but it's rose gold and then it has like a blue like a powdery like darker blue on the inside that one's not as popular as the rose gold one with the black and white polka dots but hopefully you can kind of see from my little boomerang what it looked like and i remember finding that and being like so surprised I went to like a store that's like 30 minutes away and like just happened to be walking the aisles and like saw it on the shelf and it was the only one and then I like looked inside and it was the one with white and black polka dots and I was like oh my gosh I found it and now I don't have it and I'm so sad about it but I took it that one I took to China with me and I think I took that one to Ireland like that one's been around the world and now I don't even have it anymore so deluxe covers are super rare um popular at least these three colors we do still like I said there are still some other colors available but I think just the other colors weren't as popular because one the black and white neutral everybody loves black and white I think and then the rose gold with a neutral inside everybody really liked that and then you guys who doesn't like hollow so hollow was obviously going to be popular um so out of those out of all the colors and options that we had for the deluxe covers those ones were definitely the most popular um we did have the mini size for rose gold and it has purple on the inside that one was pretty popular as well um but for the most part it was mainly the classic ones that were our popular ones to be watching so um and then the last few things that i have that i consider to be more rare harder to find items we might see them again we might never see them again who knows is some metal discs so obviously we went over the black and we went over the um we went over the mint colored there we go i wanted to zoom in because i was like 10 miles away um but then we also have red so red we first saw the red um red metal discs on a target student no a target teacher planner um and how perfect that it was at target you know targets color is red and so like 
red planner at Target, like super cool, right? Um, so the first time we saw these was on a teacher planner, which was nice because a teacher planner is on a big planner and a big planner means 11 discs. So that means you have a full set right off the bat rather than getting a classic size and only getting nine and still needing two. So, you know, preference. We also around that same time got a student planner that had black metal discs again and then the super mom planner also had black metal discs so we have seen black metal metal discs a couple of times um just not recently not within the last year we haven't seen them again and then mint we've never seen ever again ever since daydreamer and again that could even just be maybe it was a really hard disc to make and expensive i guess and then the red um, so we first saw on the Target teacher planner and then we got it on the Target student planner the next year with rainbow discs. So some of those colors aren't sold separately on anything else. A few of them were sold separately. Um, so like our lime green, like I call this like the green apple lime green color, you know, this hasn't been on anything else except that Target student planner as well as our dark purple. Um, we have dark purple mini discs that came on the mini stargazer planner, but specifically this dark purple color only came on that target student planner. So, which kind of sucked because if you wanted a full set of those, that meant you had to buy nine student planners in order to get like enough sets for a classic size planner, which as ashamed of it as I am, actually I'm not, I'm not even mad because I got all my purple and I was so happy I did do that. Um, and, but at one point the happy planner website had them on their website. And at one point I think they dropped the price down to like $6. So I bought like enough so that way I could have a full set. So it kind of worked out. So I have a full set of the green, a full set, an extra full set of the red. I already had red and then the purple. So those colors, along on that rainbow planner, we also got this dark blue metal discs, which we also got this color on the classic size Stargazer planner. Um, but again, not sold separately, haven't seen it since. So who knows if it's ever gonna be seen on a planner ever again. We really don't know until things come out. We'll have to see maybe in this fall release. Um, maybe we'll get some deluxe planners because Happy Planner Girls are coming out soon. You know, this is around the time when Happy Planner Girls do come out. So maybe, um, depending on what Happy Planner Girls they'll choose, they'll have any one of these colors that have been exclusive to a planner. So that is the hope. Let's put the greens together just because minor OCD here. Okay. Another color is lavender. So I feel like lavender is a little bit easier. It's not as rare but it's not, it's sold separately, I think, at, in big size and in mini size at Hobby Lobby. And I think, I could be wrong, somebody let me know down in the comments, I think it's now available in classic size at Michael's. Um, but this one was one of the harder ones you had to get. Originally, it was on, the first time we saw it was on a Target student planner. It was like a really cute planner cover with like a pineapple and it had hollow on it and I was all for that life. Um, and so that was the first time we saw it. And now we've gotten it on a couple of other planners. But now I think it's at Michael's, now that I'm thinking about it. I think you can get the classic size at Michael's and then you can get the mini and the expander size at Hobby Lobby. And Michael's might have all sizes. I just honestly do not remember. And then another color that was exclusive to a planner is this really pretty like darker blue, gray, powder blue. This one's pretty dark. It's a lot darker than the one that came in the metal pack rainbow pack from Hobby Lobby. It's a lot darker than that one. This one came on the Faith Planner uh, that was exclusive to Hobby Lobby. Um, and this is the only, that's the only time we've seen this color. So who knows if we'll see this color again on another planner. Sorry, I am not centered. Y'all didn't tell me. Um, so who knows if we'll see that particular color on another planner. No idea. Um, but I'll put it next to that one so you can kind of see like it's pretty it's not like as dark But it's like darker. It's definitely darker than that really light blue that is in the rainbow pack from Hobby Lobby So these are just a few of the metal discs that are super pretty rare actually and harder to find um, Like this one, you know, they pretty much said 
it's a rare one it's not coming out anymore with because it came out with the be happy box they saved it for the be happy box so that one's hard to find who knows if we'll get another rainbow planner to get some more red discs or just one with a whole bunch of red discs we haven't seen this one since 2018 um this one might be available now and then for these ones who knows if we get another rainbow planner or we get a happy planner girl maybe that has those color discs on it and then um this was on stargazer and that rainbow and then this one's was specific to faith so we have a couple of disc colors that are definitely popular and definitely going for higher prices which you know supply and demand i guess you just kind of have to justify how badly you really want it i guess but i will say with that it doesn't hurt to wait you guys like i like like i said i feel like so many people have play, paid an arm and a leg for black metal discs and then they come out with a be happy box that has black metal discs for $50 for that whole box, right? And a lot of people I saw got rid of a lot of the other contents in the box to kind of make up for that and, you know, end up ended up only paying 20 bucks total for the discs instead of $80 to $100 for a set of nine when now in the Be Happy box you got a set of 11. So I think it's just kind of like up to you to see like maybe, you know, maybe wait for anything, you know, just wait until after planner releases. Wait till after Happy Planner Girls because those always have a deluxe planner that has metal discs. Um, wait till after 12 month planners and then in between the time that we get those planners and the time that we get our July planners, you never know, you know. So it's just kind of like a you could wait for it, but then, you, of course, you run the risk, like, the longer it doesn't come out, the more expensive they are. Like I said, I think that's why Daydreamer ones are just so expensive, because we haven't seen them for two years, and we're going on three years of not seeing that color anywhere else. So, um, so those are just some of the things that are super rare, maybe popular, all of that good stuff. So, um, I hope this video was kind of fun just to kind of see what's out there, what's popular. If you weren't planning with Happy Planner at the time, um, what things are you looking for? What things do you wish you could get your hands on? All of that stuff. Um, I, for one, am just really thankful that I was in the Happy Planner game um, when all this stuff came out. I pretty much started with Happy Planner, like, right when they started in 2015. So I'm pretty glad that I kind of, and I was there when the first sticker books ever came out, you know, and so, and then after that, it became, like, an addiction to going to Hobby Lobby, because at the time, Hobby Lobby was really the only place that had a good majority of the product. Like, I think when this line came out, only Hobby Lobby sold it. So it was, like, I lived right across the street from Hobby Lobby at the time, so I just, like, every single day I was like, do you have it yet? <laughs> um, so let me know down in the comments, what are some other things? If I didn't mention some kind of unicorn item that might be a unicorn to you, um, what are you looking for out there in the planner world? Maybe we can get some hookups in the comments if somebody sees something that they have and they don't want it anymore. Maybe people can do some trades, make everybody happy, something like that. But um, I hope that this video was kind of fun and just seeing some of the rare items, some items that you might not have even heard of before because it might have been before your journey with Happy Planner started and or, you know, you just, you know, you weren't paying attention at the time or I don't know, whatever the reason that you didn't know about certain things, but now you're like, ooh, that's amazing. I want that or I can see why that's a unicorn. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know, like, if there's a specific cover. I might even have it. Like, I'd love to know if there's a specific cover you're looking for, a specific folder you're looking for. Um... I don't have any extra sticker books, so I'm not going to say I'm going to give you a sticker book because <laughs> um, I don't have doubles of any of these anymore. I used to once upon a time. Um, but uh, so let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what unicorn items are you looking for. I might have it in my stash because I have so much stuff. I need to really go through it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!